Right, this is pack eight for post 16. Um, we've got a theme for this one, and it's all about Africa. Um, it's actually a theme that's going to be carrying on when we go back to school, um, because I want us to be raising some money for Africa um, between now and the uh, next uh, rest of the year. And that's a theme that's going to be followed through with English, looking at some texts from Africa and things like that. So looking then at some of these activities, this is our overview pack. Um, so we've got some simple games. Some of you probably know Tic Tac No or Noughts and Crosses, so some social games. We've also got a bit of an African game, Mancala. Now, I know the GCSE group I used to teach used to love this game, but this is a way you can make it yourself with an egg box, a bit more practical. Um, then we're talking about staying safe. So looking at how in other countries they've had to deal with different diseases at different times and they use pictures to stay safe. So how can we use pictures to stay safe in COVID? So making your own posters and things um, to advise other people of the rules you've got to follow. For independence, I've got some slightly different dishes. So they're slightly different ingredients, quite cheap, as you can see. Um, one pot dish, so something to cook. Bit of a cold dish this time. Again, it is a bit like a salad. It is uh, African-based, so a little bit different, maybe a bit more spicy, something nice to try. Um, and then we're looking at some uh, sort of chores that you can do. We've got instructions for sweeping up, making sure you're dusting properly. So some nice chores that you can do at home to help with people. Um, and then you can see how to work things there. You might think, what has that got to do with Africa? Well, actually, if we're, when we're looking at the books, you'll see that the children in Africa often help out at home quite a lot. So it's about how we can help out at home. Also, caring for a pet. If you've got a pet, or if you're going to have a pet in the future, that's quite a big responsibility. So we've got some steps from Steps uh, Pets Are Us. So we've got some ideas for schedules for how you'd look after a pet. Also, when, we, when we're going to run this charity shop and online store that we're going to be running at school, um, we need to keep some records. So we've got some examples here of how you keep records and how you put some dates in there. Also talking about work placements. So I'm going to have quite a few work placements in school linked to our on-site charity shop, linked to our little pop-up uh, charity shop and our crafts that we're selling online and things. So different activities there that you can look at, see if there's something you'd like to do. And then be creative about how we can make money. So there's a few videos that will be going online um, on the Ellesmere Fountain website. Um, but be creative yourself. I know most of you are. Then we've got some activities that you can do at home. So with no equipment or just things that you've got lying around, like your broom. So lots of exercises you can do without having to go and buy certain things. Now this woman, amazingly, um, lost half her body weight in nine months by running and using tins to, to lift. So she didn't buy lots of expensive stuff. She just used things that she had at home. So we've got some more activities, nice, simple ones. And again, just using the sort of things that you have at home. Okay, and then you have your EHCP targets at the end as normal.